try and get that boost a little bit flatter. Alright guys, as you've seen from those runs, we're starting to make some power with the car. So what we've done is we've added a water to air intercooler. So previous best was 202 kilowatts on 10 PSI. So what we did then was we added the, we put the water in the tank, did some runs, and we got the best power of 210 on 7 PSI. Then we increased the boost back up to uh, 10 psi and got to 200 and I think it's about 230 kilowatts and then we added ice wall, ice into the mix and continued tuning and Alex was able to re reach a peak number of 249 kilowatts on 10 psi what we did then was we then started to add more boost we changed the wastegate spring and the turbo smart 45 mil gate uh, started to increase the boost pressure further but we've now hit issues with the clutch slipping. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. From now, we're gonna add some more sensors to get more data on the turbo dynamics, the back pressures, uh, inlet pressure temperatures, water temperatures, things like that. 
and switch out the clutch to a twin plate OS Geekin item and we'll get back to the dyno uh, and see if we can uh, start making, you know, a goal is to try and get to around 350 kilowatts. So here's some of our peak numbers from today. So today we did 201 straight off the bat with a cooler. Um, I'll show you the, the boost levels in a sec. Then he gave it some tuning and dialed it in a bit better. Got it to 210 on the 7 PSI. Then he raised the boost back to 10 PSI, what we previously ran our 202 with. So that's a, a solid 32 kilowatt gain on the same pressure, which is really nice. Then we introduced the ice into the tank and continued tuning. And then we landed at 271 kilowatt and that was on 13.5 PSI, but we were in, um, experiencing some clutch slip. So really happy with today's results. And now we're gonna add some more sensors and get it back on the dyno with a clutch that doesn't slip. So I'll quickly show those boost, boost curves. So see, this is the boost section here. Uh, you can see that the um, boost really comes on much harder with the harder wastegate spring. Um, and then previously down here, you got 6.9 PSI with the cooler added, but no, um, no water happening. And then we got up to 8.9 PSI, which was previously where we were before. It was about 10 PSI before. And then we raised it up to a peak of 13.5 at the deep end. And a bit earlier on, it was sitting at about 15 PSI. And that's where we're, we're, we're experiencing some clutch slip. So we can't really continue tuning until we sort that out. But yeah, we would like to, um, yeah, try and get that boost a little bit flatter and see if we can um, yeah see if we can exceed 300 kilowatts on 15 pounds which is what I'd like to see